Hello, hello, and welcome to my working table. My name is Lisbeth, and I'm a Danish artist, and I like to work in many kind of kinds of um, supplies and in many kinds of media. I am not an experienced watercolor worker, but I like to splash and move colors around on the paper doing abstract works. Sometimes when they're dry, I like to mark make on them and collage a little on them or embroider on them. Some years ago, I was in a town in the Netherlands where there was a textile museum and I bought this little book. It's a Japanese book and it is a dictionary of color combinations. All the text is Japanese and I can't read Japanese, but I think I got the meaning of the book because it is like color studies or examples of what kind of colors you can put together. So there are a section where you, you put two colors together and there are a section where you put three colors together and there are a section where you put four colors together. And this book is really nice for me because um, I like to, to work in the same color family or mon in monochrome ways or tone in tone. And there are some really interesting combination in this book. So to give myself a um, challenge, I looked at it and found a page here. Let me see, it was page 96. And I uh, think I will try to make three pieces using those three colors. I don't know if I can match them exactly as this, but uh, I will try to make the best of it. Also, I will put a link below in the description box with the ESPN number for the book, if you are interested. It is a nice little book. Um, I have these Koitagi uh, watercolors. Uh, it's a Japanese brand. And uh, I have uh, this box here with the Art Nouveau set and I have a bigger box with these colors in here. And I I have this, yeah, it's, it's Danish, but it said color swatches. <laughs> and I have swatched all my different things in here. And I have the swatches here for the watercolors. So I have picked these three colors. I think looks like the page in the book. And it is number 44 and number 501 and number 57. Yeah. Also, I have cut some watercolor paper out. It is 300 GSM and the measurement is 16 by 24 centimeters. And I have just used not ordinary painter's tape. I think it, it ruins the uh, the watercolor paper, paper but it, it is tape for artists and I rub it on my sleeve or on my thigh before I put it down. Hopefully it will come off easier when I'm done. So now I have three pieces here as a little blob, but I think I will paint over it. So let's begin.
I will just spray them, get them wet. I have these two mop brushes, two different sizes. I have a skewer and I have a palette knife. I don't know if I will use that, but uh, for a start, I will just put some paints down. <clears throat> also, I have a kitchen towel and a bucket of water. So, I would try the big brush first and see if it's too big or, yeah. Perhaps it is a little too big. So I will take the smaller one. I like to hold my brush in the end. So I'm doing it more loose and free. Oh, I know I forgot a thing. But we could still do that. I have this china marker and my, my plan was to make some black marks. And this is not water soluble, so it won't smear. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go over it instead, but... <clears throat> also, I have this... Um, oil pastel, and it's, it's white, so I think if I put some marks some places it will work as a resist but uh, let us see I, I don't know and uh, but we can try and see if it works like I think it would <coughs> so yeah this <coughs> That's the first color. So let us take the next one. It is almost like Easter colors. <laughs> and I don't know if it is colors that I normally will use, but now I have chosen them by looking at the pages in the book and I will continue. Yeah, the oil pastel works as a resist, so that's okay. That's a little funny, yeah. And then I will take the last color and see how this oh that is a strong strong one. And that is the part part I like the most by using like with using watercolors when they mix together. I really like that. It is colors very far from my comfort zone. <laughs> Also, I don't mind uh, some white spots here and there. You don't have to, to fill it all in. But, uh, yeah. 
these are the places where the oil pastel was and that works like a resist that's quite nice so yeah i think i will let them be as they are now and i will let them dry and be back they are not uh, fully dried yet but i think i will see if i can drag some of the wet paint out here if that could be nice They are almost dry now, and uh, I can see I have some small splatters. That's the only thing I don't like about this watercolor splopping around. I always get small splatters around here and there. No, so that's okay. But uh, if you look at the colors here in the book, I think they turned out almost the same so now is the question do i want to put a little collage on them uh, i can try to rip a piece out here and see if i think it would be interesting we left I like all the blooming days there so perhaps instead here yeah and it all down here so you can see some of the blooming or perhaps it is too big a piece so can only take this small piece yeah i think that's better and uh, yeah let's try it on here this is by the way a daily paper and this is a um, acrylic bronze paint of that there and again there should we tie these small triangles Let's see. so they would be a little different the three of them it a good amount of blue so yeah and that is a nice thing with the daily paper it almost dissolves into the background these places where I have painted with the oil pastel they, they this works really nice I really like that but this will be sitting there and then we have the stripes here
um, no wrinkles here. Last one. Yeah, I think this works nice. Let us move all the small bits here and take a look. Yeah. I just gave it a little more collage, but now I really don't know if I want to give it more black or I also have this ink gold okra. And it is a, a bit like it's it's more orange, but will it fit here? Yeah, perhaps it will. I would think I will try this and make some circles. It is possible. Yeah, the color is okay. You will have to hold it a little light, the dip pin, so you don't pick the paper or pick a hole in the paper. That's nice, and then I'll close it so I don't sp spill it on my table. Yeah, now I will try to put some black ink on the piece, and I think I will look at the t uh, the daily paper with the pattern on and use this pattern other places. So here are the small triangles, so I think I will see if I can draw some small triangles. That wasn't supposed to be all black, but uh, <laughs> now they are black all the way. So yeah. perhaps we could put a few down here. Let them dry. And here are the stripes, so I think I will see if I can make some stripes. <coughs> Going the other way, this are this way here. Yeah, <clears throat> it's. I'm fully aware to start here and go this way, so I do don't put my arm up here in the in the wet ink. And here they are, small squares. So. So 
sorry if my head is in the camera. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, perhaps I can make some a few ones down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will let them dry and be back. I think they are nearly there, and um, the last thing I think I will do is to make some small dots. And I have a fine liner for that. This one here is the busiest one, but I think it's the one I like best. But uh, we'll see when we're done, if I feel the same. But you can see what I mean by making some small dots and uh, it isn't a little boring to look at me placing all those dots. So I will put dots on, on the last two and be back. So now I think I'm done. Uh, I placed a lot of small dots around. I really liked small dots and at least three places on the piece, I think. Uh, I'm not sure I like them very much. I, I can live with that one, but the other two I don't really like. And again, it's because my choice of colors. <laughs> I, I, if they all have been brown, orange and yellow colors, I think I would have liked them more. They are too different for, for my taste, but that's just me. Um, others will perhaps like it, but but the, uh, this is a, a a way of working in series again, and uh, I think I will try to make another set where I use colors I like, even though I. I think <laughs> the colors look nice in the book in the book, but it's not the same when they come down here as pieces. Now I will remove the tape and I really hope I can do it without damaging my paper. You can see I, I pull away from 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 the watercolor and out here and it looks like it is working very nice. If you have troubles, you can always take your craft or your heat gun or um, hair dryer and heat it. <laughs> yeah, uh, so the glue in the in the oh, there's a little there. Uh, the glue in the tape will dissolve a little, and then it would be easier to to pull it off. But I think this works nice. But it it is also a good tape meant for this and that is also perhaps why the it is working and there's a difference in if i had just used ordinary painters tape um, but i think it is a religion 
a religion, uh, what people works, what, what works from, from different people. So it is so satisf satisfying to peel the tape off and uh, it always looks much nicer. The pieces look much nicer when the tape is off. So uh, I will take care here with the last one. I had a little smear there and I think it's because I have oil pastel going out there, but uh, that's okay. So Yeah, they are. I will find a um, white underlayer and put them on instead of this green one. I think it is distracting, so I'll be best better on the white on the, on the paper here and on the green ones. So um, I will take some close-ups and they would be at the end of the video. I think it is a, a great way to work in series and there's so many things you can do. All this mark making and doodling and things you can do on top of this is great. And you don't have to be an experienced watercolor worker to do this. But if you like abstract things, this is the way to do it. So I hope you will give it a try and um, take care, be creative until we see each other next time. Bye bye. This is where the oil pistol has made a resist and I really like that. Uh, and I also like that the white of the papers nearly disappears. I think this one is my favorite, so 